Hey everyone, Amy here. I am super excited about this color palette. So Liquitex Burnt Umber is the first color. This is Pebio's Dark Cobalt Blue. The Liquitex Brilliant Purple. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I love that color so very, very much and Liquitex Parchment. This piece turns out absolutely amazing, so be sure to stay till the end. I do show dried results with this piece, and I actually have this piece now hanging varnished in my bedroom. It is probably one of my top favorites at the moment. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing some puddles of color sort of all over the canvas. I will then be swiping through all of the colors. This technique was inspired by Molly's Art and Mark J. Ratcliffe. So check out their channels if you haven't already. And actually they have a collaboration. Uh, it's tomorrow as I'm recording, which I'm hoping will be today when you're watching this, but um, go and check out the collaboration that they do together because I'm sure it'll be absolutely amazing. So yes, here's that Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I had not used this in quite a while. Uh, I actually forgot that I had it. I had it kind of tucked in the back of my shelves where I have my paint. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I love this color. I forgot that I had some and I definitely need to get more. I am loving using Off-White at the moment. Um, actually, Mark from Mark J. Ratcliffe got me hooked onto this once again. Um, I had the Liquitex parchment, but I also have the uh, Pebios, hmm, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I had to go up and have a look at my paints because it would drive me crazy not knowing or not remembering anyway. Uh, Buff Titanium by Pebio is very, very similar. Um, and yes, at this point, I kind of realized that I may not have mixed up enough paint. I'm very, very bad for that. I don't, <laughs> I tend to mix up what I want to use and then I don't mix enough, but it ends up turning out absolutely perfect in the end. So this is my Australian Floetrol that I'm swiping with just leaving the palette knife on a slight, slight angle. Uh, I mix my Australian Floetrol with Amsterdam Titanium White, three parts Floetrol to one part paint and nothing else, no water, no nothing. Um, and it makes this uh, beautiful lacing. If you don't have any Australian Floetrol, uh, one of the other things that I have used in the past is just Amsterdam paint and water. The lacing is not as amazing as with the Australian Floetrol, but give it a try if it's something that you want to try. I know that Gail Burston also uses regular Floetrol with her Amsterdam paint. She calls it her Amsterdam formula and she has it usually listed in her description. So here I'm just going back in, tweaking some of the spots that I uh, wanted to kind of move through the other paints. And yes, my overhead camera quit at this point. I can't remember exactly what happened, but somebody probably called me. I f had forgotten to put it on Do Not Disturb, but uh, thank goodness I have my side angle. So apologies, apologies, apologies. But like I said, stay tuned because the end result of this piece, you can see the lacing there on the side with that parchment and the brown. Oh, it just like shimmers and glows. 
love, love, love. And when I use my Australian Floetrol in a piece, I will often stretch it out and then go back in with more as I'm doing now because I like the combination of some stretched out lacing as well as getting that really, really tight um, lacing effect that hasn't been stretched out completely. So yeah, definitely give this a try. This color combination, the metallic cobalt blue mixed with the purple, creates its own beautiful, beautiful color. You'll see here with the close-up. I love that parchment with the brown. The metallic cobalt blue does tend to take over. Um, it's one of those paints that can really swallow up a lot of your other colors. So really be mindful of that. I had a couple of spots that I went back in with and um, tried to fix them up a little bit and I, I love the end result. And like I said, that purple with the metallic cobalt blue just looks absolutely amazing. And there you can see it really pushed its way through the parchment and the brown, but I love that effect as well. So let me know what you think of this piece. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. All of my art is for sale. I don't always have everything posted on my website, but you can always, always send me a message either through uh, YouTube here, leave me a comment down below, or you can visit my Instagram account at anxiousamy underscore IG and send me a message there. Or you can always send me an email at amysacrylicartistry at gmail.com. Here are the dried results of this fabulous piece. I really love how this turned out. It's not varnished yet. I really do not enjoy varnishing, so a lot of my pieces go unvarnished for a while. However, I don't know, this one has such a shimmer, especially that Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. And I love how the Cobalt Blue and the Purple just create its own little color. This is a great color combination. I'll definitely be doing this one again. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this piece. Hit the thumbs up. But really be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone for all your support. So have a great day everyone and a great week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.